Hey guys, it's me Hunter. I'm coming at you with my review of Clone Storm First Order Stormtrooper Captain Captain Grainer. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on him before we uh <clears throat> get hop right into the uh, review. So you do know I did a video on kind of painting him a little bit, and then from there, ooh, I've actually had him created for a couple months now. On my Instagram, I started a story called Clones of the First Order. And in summary, Grainer is the first of five clones that were created by the uh, First Order. And the, my story that I kind of writ, uh, written and I have stopped. Um, it just, people didn't care if I continued it. So as of right now, I've stopped it. Um, but, <clears throat> so pretty much, yeah, he's one of five clones in a squad. He's the captain. And whether I make the, I do have one other of the squad members made. Whether or not I make the other three, I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, let's get right into the review here. He's also got the uh, custom blaster on there, so I'll talk a little bit about that, too, when we get there. So I'm going to kind of bring you a little closer. Okay, so he's got, he's really simple. Uh, I Kind of as I stated in the painting video, his design was really simple. That's what I wanted to stick with, because, you know, originally, you know, clones marked up their armor however you want, and then stormtroopers, very few, even captains had, like, markings or regged markings, and then... So I thought, though, since it was a clone squad, they should have uh, their own markings. So I kind of did blue because, A, blue is kind of like my favorite color to paint with um, as of right now. And uh, uh, 501st from the clone division. So I thought that would be cool because I kind of did a, in my story, I did a call out way back to the Clone Wars. But anyways, let's go on this side. He's got the blue knee pads. He's got the little blue, um, I guess you call them, it's kind of almost like the uh, 212th design. On the side, he's got the dark blue pauldron, and up top is blue between pretty much any of that area you would know. I don't know, I don't have one on me right now to show you exact area, but you can kind of see it. There's that. <clears throat> um, I can't show you the arm design on this side because it's covered by the pauldron, but it'll be the same as on the left side. Okay, I did color. Originally, I wasn't going to do anything on the back, but then I did uh, the thermal detonator. It's kind of like a big tag on my customs. I don't know, probably a lot of people do it too, but on mine, I noticed pretty much almost all my customs, I do color the thermal detonator on the back. So I kind of consider it just a, my own custom tag. Uh, okay, so on this side, we'll, we can get into the weapon as well as the arms. So it would just be the shoulder plate that is painted at the very top. And the rest of it's white. And I'm going to get into this weapon a little bit. Uh, so I did my best to really copy the uh, first order. I looked at a couple pictures. So we got like where the scope connects to the guns white. There's rings of white around the front and back of the scope. The very back of the weapon is uh, white. What would be like the butt of the weapon. So let me see if I can. So yeah, there. And you kind of turn it around. And the, uh, right on the top here is white. Sorry. And that should be it. Oh yeah, and right down here is white, the little, you know, that little thin piece at the end of the bottom of the blaster that connects to the barrel. That is also white. So yeah, um, not a detailed custom, but a quick custom and kind of a cool custom. The last he's come there, he, he had, even though no one really, the story has kind of fallen out of style, um, people still really like this, uh, trooper on my instagram so if you want to see more pictures and uh kind of read more about his story and the squad story uh go check that out but anyways guys here's a real there's a quick review of clone captain grainer of the first order and the leader of theta squad thanks guys stay tuned for more customs bye